Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am planning on doing something a bit different like I did last time. Maybe I'm not going to literally talk about my process here because I don't know. Um, lately I haven't really been wanting to talk about like my art process even though today I'm using markers, but I want to talk about a little bit of how I got inspired to do this drawing and why I decided to do it in the first place. <laughs> well, to talk about my topic today, which is mostly going to be the inspiration behind this drawing, technically. So, I'm a huge fan of K-dramas or dramas for the lovers <laughs> and I started watching K-dramas in 2000 maybe 2013 if I'm not mistaken and I think the first dramas I watched was with Park Shihi and I really enjoyed the um, K-drama uh, I don't I don't think it wasn't boys with, was it boys with flowers not uh, I'm thinking about it here. I can't really remember it properly, but I will, if I remember while I'm editing this, um, to place the picture up for you of the key drop that I'm talking about. And one of the actors that I, like, I fell in love with this actor, which is Lee Jung Suk, which is one of the inspirations that I am doing today. And I love his expression, especially when he has that oh really kind of look on his face and if you guys have been watching me for a while you guys know that I really enjoy those kind of expressions because happy expressions are fun but sarcastic expressions that normally tend to lead to memes are even better <laughs> so I literally picked up an image of Lee Jun Suk due to that fact and if I'm not mistaken the image I chose was from the K-drama that I first saw him in no I lied because the first drama I I saw him in was Pinocchio and afterwards I watched W Two Worlds which is simply one of my favorite K-dramas of all time the story, the whole thing that he was um, a webtoon and then he turned into a real life was just simply amazing. And the chemistry he had with the actress, which I'm not, I don't remember her name right now, was simply brilliant. And I literally just love that K drama to bits. I'm not gonna add any spoilers about any of the K-dramas that I'm going to be talking about today due to the fact that I don't know if anyone like has watched it or is watching any of the K-dramas that I'm mentioning so I love you guys too so I'm not gonna give you spoilers yeah but anyway I'm not gonna give spoilers because um, there is another K-drama that I love watching well, I didn't... No, I'm lying here. I have not watched this one. I started watching it. It was really nice, which is Airs. It's with Lee Ming Ho and Park Shi He. But I got major spoilers from the entire K-drama. And the ending would have literally just... I think I would have been as sad as I was when I watched Goblin. <laughs> I think it would. I would have ha literally had the exact same reaction as I did when I watched Goblin. But I know that everybody has different mixed reactions to a lot of things. Um, so I know it would have been a weird moment for me because I was down in a train wreck that year because I watched Moon Lovers which is with IU is another actress which which is an actress last singer which I really love 
um, if I'm not mistaken, um, Netflix actually has um, Hotel de Luna, and she is also in it. She's in that series, that K drama, and I really love her. Oh, she has such a sweet voice when she sings. So I was actually pretty happy to find out that apparently it's rumored. It's rumored. But it's Dispatch. But it's rumored that um, Lee Jun Suk and IU are dating. So I was pretty, pretty happy about that because he's an actor that I love. And she is a singer, which I really enjoy her music. Lilac is just perfect. <laughs> so I'm actually pretty happy about that. And it's weird because um, they both have incredible... Um, acting skills and one of my favorite um, K dramas that I ever watched was Moon Lovers. And I'm not the kind of person that just sits there and cries when I watch K drama, but apparently Koreans know how to make me cry. Because <laughs> I have watched a lot of things and I really had a hard time watching Moon Lovers and Goblin, even with the comic relief well not really moon lovers because it was a bit it was a bit historical slash serious slash we just knew it was gonna end that way but i really hope one day we're just gonna hear like oh they're gonna have a second season it's never gonna happen but i'd like to be that person who thinks that there will be a second season for one of my favorite K-dramas. But either way, apparently they're dating and I'm actually pretty psyched because I have seen a lot of things with Lee Jun Suk and there is a movie called VIP um, where he plays a serial killer slash bad guy and it is so freaking good. I mean... I can, I literally hated his character every second that I watched that movie. And the ending was just pure gold. That's how good that movie was. Yeah, so I'm actually really excited to see, um, there is actually, there's this new, if I'm not mistaken, there's this, I don't know if it's new because I haven't seen k dramas in a really long time. I'm actually getting back into it right now. Um, I'm, I'm pretty much getting inspired by a K-drama that I really love, which is The Wind That... Wait, no, the winter that wind blew. It, it, it has something to do with winter. Let me look it up for you guys right now. Okay, the name of it is That Winter the Wind Blows. It is such an amazing story. It's If you guys love intrigue and drama, it's simply one of the best things I have seen in a very long time and simply the fact that there's a lot of characters in this K-drama that literally makes you think but I think the main characters of it is literally something it's something I haven't seen a lot and I think that's what in that what made me like this K drama. And also the story behind it was very interesting. It wasn't that normal, that normalist that n people normally see nowadays in Western um, TV series. So I really enjoyed that. It was very emotional, very romantic, and I don't know if it if maybe. If it's on my Netflix, then maybe it's on your Netflix too. And I would really encourage you guys to go watch it if you guys love a little bit of drama, a little bit of betrayal. It's actually pretty fun, pretty glamorous, and I enjoyed it very, very much.
Another one that is also in my category is um, it's okay not to be okay. Um, I know that the main actress had a lot of backlash. Um, I think uh, something happened with her ex. I think he was his ex, and everyone thought that like she was literally the character she portrayed, or like even worse in real life, and. I, I actually do believe she has gotten back on her feet, but either way, what I've heard from this K-drama is that a lot of people related to it in a way, but at the same time it was actually fun, it was... It just talked about uh, like serious things, but in a fun, cool way I guess you could probably say so that's pretty much why I'm a bit invested in drawing this character well this inspired Legion so character um, is mostly because of my love for South Korea and K-dramas and one thing I can talk about my illustration is that not only did I get so inspired by Lee Jin Suk and his little quirky little smile, I'm like, hmm, um, is also because that my illustration actually looks towards Asian and not what I'm normally used to drawing. So I'm actually really excited about that because normally when I try to draw an Asian person, it was so hard for me and. I think that my love for South Korea and all of the inspirations that I've been getting lately and also jumping back into this whole thing is actually very fun and very exciting for me and I can't wait to make more inspired art by this amazing culture that I have been slowly getting back into. <laughs> And weirdly enough, um, Airs is also on Netflix, and I don't think I'm gonna watch it. You know, I love Lee Min Ho, I love Park Shi Hee, but I, no, 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 no. I can't watch it. I just no. As much as I, it, it's 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 on my list. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's sitting there on my list, but I don't think I'm gonna have like the guts to actually watch this. Hey guys, so just a little heads up for everyone. I don't know why I said hey, I'm just in the mood of clicking record and just saying hey. Um, <laughs> but I am using um, Sis Graph Duo um, markers and I'm still learning. And when I did this illustration, I normally do the outline first so I know what I'm going into. But this time I decided to just go in. The illustration just with the pencil line and then afterwards um, I did the outlining I did all the line work with a darker pencil so I kind of it was kind of very light but very natural so it actually kind of having the impact and the color and the light and the likeness that I wanted that made it very nice and very soft so I'm actually pretty happy about that and I'm going to be leaving you guys just for a little while with a little coloring and some nice deep relaxing music but I will be back I promise you that
But it's it's not gonna be like that. I know that because I'm over it and I, I, I have healed and I think my ultimate superpower is the fact that I have healed and I literally can say that I am a better person for just letting it go and forgetting everything that happened. So I know it's not I know a lot of people don't literally can go through that because everybody's pain is different but mine was oh, I, I could endure it and I managed to let it go even though my voice is cracking like oh my god she's gonna cry no I'm not gonna cry it's just that weird thing when I start recording and my voice is like oh, oh look she's recording she thinks she's gonna do this like pretty oh, cute no it's something like that so yeah So here, um, I was kind of going to do little light bulbs, like little tiny little flickering stars, but I kind of just decided to go with it and just literally make an entire background, a color background. Um, I kind of just picked up the color and I was like, okay, this would be kind of cool. Um, I didn't really think it through and I'm actually happy that it ended up looking the way I kind of intended it. I was actually going to put sparkles in the background, um, but since my gel pen decided to go crazy and sometimes it decides to work and sometimes doesn't, I just left it or else you guys would be here watching me do try to do sparkles for like eight hours, so no. 
it's that's not how it works here everything has to be really 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 fast no it doesn't it just it just takes some time just a little time it's okay but either that um we are literally getting to the end of this and i hope you guys like this chat where i'm just literally talking about things um i enjoy and i like and probably going to get inspired by as well maybe i'll even try to do a redraw of a screen like a screen crap redraw of one of my favorite scenes of one of the dramas if you guys would like that please comment down below and i would love to know that um, but either way, thank you guys so, so much for being here. Thank you once again for everyone who has been following me, who has literally been listening to me blab about K-pop and K-dramas today. <laughs> and I hope you guys have a wonderful week and a wonderful time. I will see you guys next week for more drawings, more fun, more blabbing, and see you guys. Love you. Bye.